What's up, Wolfpack? Today is Friday, September 18th. I'm Isabel Herman. And I'm Josiah Edwards, and we're here with your distance learning announcements. We have a quick announcement from Yearbook. Yearbook would like to congratulate the following students on winning the masked photo contest last week. And we would like to congratulate Christian Cavillo for the best quality mask, Aiden Sandman for the most artistic mask, and Abby Adamson for the most spirited mask. Be on the lookout for next week's photo contest and the chance to win a gift card and to be featured in the yearbook. Hey, Isabel, have you been to McDonald's recently? They have a new thing called the Travis Scott Burger. I haven't, but I went to Dunkin' Donuts yesterday, and everyone was talking about this new drink called the Charlie. Yeah, apparently celebrities are doing, like, a big thing now with, you know, food and stuff. It's crazy. Let's see what Gabby and Paula have to say about it. Hey, Wolfpack, I'm Paula Cibulo. And I'm Gabby Bonbon, and we're here to share some pop culture news. Recently, Cactus Jack, Travis Scott's record label, has teamed up with McDonald's to release the Travis Scott meal. It will consist of a quarter pounder with the additional toppings of bacon and lettuce. It will also come with a side of fries, barbecue dipping sauce, and a medium spray, all for $6. A trend is going around where customers ask for the Travis Scott meal by simply stating, you know what I'm here for, followed by enter of the song, Sicko Mode. You know why I'm here. You know what I'm here for. I decided to try out this meal for myself. Here's how it went. Hi, do you guys have the Travis Scott? Thank you. Hey guys, so I just bought the Travis Scott meal and it came in this box. I got medium fries with it and barbecue dipping sauce and a medium Sprite. This is my first bite into the Travis Scott burger. That was really good. I'd rate it a solid 10 out of 10. This limited edition meal will be available from September 8th through October 4th. Go get your Travis Scott burger today. Travis Scott isn't the only celebrity teaming up with their favorite food chain. On September 2nd, TikTok star Charlie Zemilio launched her signature coffee order, the Charlie, on the Dunkin' Donuts menu. Charlie has been featuring her go-to Dunkin' drink on her social media platforms, especially TikTok. So, Dunkin' agreed to do a paid partnership with a 16-year-old influencer. This will also be a limited edition order available for the whole month of September. I decided to try the trick out for myself. Here's how it went. I got a medium Charlie, which is a cold brew with whole milk and three pumps of caramel swirl. In my opinion, the drink was a bit too sweet for me, but if you enjoy coffee, then it's worth a try. Well, that's all we have for you today, Wolfpack. I'm Gabby Bombalon. And I'm Paula Sabulo. And make sure you guys don't miss out on these limited editions. Wow, it looks like I might have to go to McDonald's and try that for myself. Josiah, have you tried it? Nope, but all my friends have been dying to try it. They said, it, they said it's amazing. I hope you guys didn't forget, today is Friday and you know what that means. Here's Pop with Kaylee Ota. What's Pop, your Wolfpack? I'm Kaylee Ota and this is Pop. Where we pop in and show you posted pack. Remember use the hashtag CHSWPTV for a chance to be on our show next week. Moving on, let's check out our Wolf of the Week, John Sheehan. Hi, I'm John Sheehan, and I'm your Wolf of the Week. My goal for this school year is to exceed my academics just as much as my athletics, and hopefully we get a school year. If not, I just gotta get my work in every day to get better. My friends keep me inspired to stay focused and right on track with academics and athletics. I have a little bit of fun at the same time, but mainly staying focused on my goals and make sure I can achieve those goals. My favorite memory at CO has got to be my freshman year playing baseball. We made it pretty far, almost made it to playoffs, did really well, and it was fun playing with the seniors that year and overall fun year. After I graduate high school, I plan on attending Grand Canyon University where I'm committed to play baseball. Thanks, John. Good luck with the rest of the year. Well, that's all I have for you today, Wolfpack. I'm Kiliota. See y'all next week. Hey, Isabel. Have you heard of a game called Fall Guys? I have not heard of that. Um, let's see what Nathan has to say about it.
Fall Guys Ultimate Knockout is taking the world by storm. The game published by Devolver Digital and developed by Mediatonic became a smash hit seemingly overnight. But what is Fall Guys and why is it so popular? So, Fall Guys is a platformer battle royale set in a game show. Each session you play is called an episode, where you compete in five Wipeout slash Mario Party style mini games to qualify for a final round. You earn kudos, the game's currency, by participating in each round of the episode, and you get a crown by winning the final round of the episode. You can buy different emotes and costumes for your character with kudos, but crowns let you get fancier ones. The game has a battle pass with emotes and costumes, kudos, and crowns. Why is the game so popular? Well, like I said before, it's a battle royale game with a large number of players, many cosmetics and emotes to unlock through a multi-month long battle pass, and fun mechanics. This is a proven recipe of success implemented by other games like Call of Duty Warzone, Fortnite Battle Royale, and PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds. But what makes Fall Guys different is its gameplay, accessibility, and style. Unlike many other popular battle royale games like Call of Duty and Fortnite, Fall Guys is much more upbeat in its tone, style, and subject matter. The objective of the game is survive, many times requiring the help of team members to reach the final. Instead of eliminating all competition, Fall Guys is much more about you and your team's individual skill and resilience. Fall Guys has a very low barrier to entry. Again, unlike other battle royales, Fall Guys requires much less skill than games like Warzone and Fortnite. There are only three buttons required for the whole game, and the mini games are easy. The true challenge comes from your opponents. The game's beta was also streamed on Twitch, the world's most popular live streaming platform, a ton. So a lot of people saw how fun and unique the game is and decided to buy it. The game was also released for free on PlayStation Plus in August, so for many people, Fall Guys had almost no barrier to entry at all, including price. The gameplay of Fall Guys is appealing to many players. Fall Guys combines classic 3D platforming in the games of veins like Super Mario 64 and combines it with Mario Party style minigames. The game is very easy to control and the concept of the minigames is easy to understand too, but the difficulty comes from the 60 other players in the episode with you. A great example of this is the tiptoe round. Basically you have to walk across a grid of tiles and some of the tiles are fake. It's pretty easy to find the real tiles, but the difficulty comes in when everyone else in the game is jumping around and grabbing other players. The final thing about Fall Guys that I think it makes it so popular is its gigantic competitive spirit. The game motivates you to come first and survive the longest with the draw of kudos and crowns to get cool costumes and emotes. The game is easy to learn and easy to master. When you see other players win, you think to yourself, I could do that, or I would have done that. It makes you want to play again. The competitive spirit in this game is so great, there have already been multiple online tournaments with cash prizes. To highlight a few, Grand Pooh Bears Fall Mania 1 and 2 both had prize pools of $5,000 each. Twitch has hosted three Fall Guys tournaments with each tournament having $50,000 in prize money and has planned at least three more tourneys with weekly Fall Guys tournaments in North America and in Europe. So Fall Guys is huge right now, but what's next? A mid-season update happened three days ago for some minor round changes and including anti-cheat into the game to stop cheaters. More importantly, the new season of Fall Guys starts in just over two weeks. When the new season starts, there will be an all-new battle pass with new costumes and emotes, as well as new rounds and other improvements to the game. So it seems like the perfect time to get in on the fun. I can't wait to see what the new season brings to Fall Guys and see if you can fall, guy. Thanks, guys. I've been playing this game with my friends for a while now, and it's stupid fun. It sounds like it. Well, that's all we have for you today, Wolf Pack. I'm Josiah Edmonds, and remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Have a fantastic Friday, Friday, Wolf Pack.